Analytics Creator makes it easy to create a data warehouse that integrates any data from any number of sources, from ERP to CRM systems, on-premises, and in the cloud. This video illustrates how quickly you can build an Azure data warehouse to analyze and visualize SAP data in Power BI. Before we get started, we'll first need to download and install the software. To request a trial version, simply go to analyticscreator.com slash register. Now we open the software and log into our account. Our first step is to create a new repository. Then we add a connector. We are going to select our SAP FI metadata connector, which contains the metadata of our SAP tables. Next, we will open the Data Warehouse Wizard and select the tables that we want to analyze more closely. This wizard offers many different possibilities to generate an initial data warehouse template. Various modeling concepts, including Data Vault 2.0, Kimball, and Mixed Approach Designs are supported as well. Here's a look at our first draft. Let's create a macro that attaches the calendar dimension to the effect transformation. This macro converts the SAP date to the ID of the calendar dimension and will be used later for fact transformation. To restrict the amount of imported data, we are going to add some filters to the import definitions. For example, here we will limit the year to 2013. and we will do that here as well. Next, we'll modify the definition of the fact transformation. We'll first add the reference to the calendar dimension with a macro. We'll also add some measures, such as amount, and quantity. Now we synchronize the data warehouse. Analytics Creator automatically runs a series of checks before creating the data warehouse. Our data warehouse model is now ready. In this next step, we will create a package to deploy the data warehouse to Azure Cloud and Power BI. The deployment package is a Visual Studio solution containing SSIS packages, DAC pack files, SQL and XMLA scripts, 
Power Pivot and Power BI models, and all other necessary elements. This makes it easy to deploy the data warehouse on premises or in the cloud. Our deployment package is now available in the cloud. Let's take a quick look at the solution. A deployment package usually contains a workflow as an SSIS package. To run the ETL process, you simply start this package. Now let's open the Azure Data Warehouse that has been created during the deployment. Here we define the SAP connection parameters in the SSIS configuration table. Our data warehouse is now configured. To run the ETL process, we simply launch the workflow package. The ETL process is now finished and the data from the SAP system has been loaded into the data warehouse. Let's open Power BI. To create a Power BI model, we simply import the Excel file that was generated during deployment. Under Datasets, Settings, We define the credentials to access the Azure Data Warehouse in Power BI. Our Power BI data model is ready. We just need to refresh the data. Power BI offers quick insights, a really nice feature for analyzing data and generating visuals. These are just a few examples generated by Power BI.
we can now use the full functionality of Power BI to create intuitive dashboards and informative reports based on our SAP data. As you can see, Analytics Creator provides a fast, easy way to build a data warehouse to report and analyze any data from any number of sources. If you have any questions, simply email us at contact at analyticscreator.com. Subscribe to the Analytics Creator channel to get updates and the latest self-help videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching.